If life gives you lemons, make a chocolate cake, get the bitches wondering how you did it. Good morning everybody and welcome to Palm Springs! My fourth year at Coachella. I honestly like always really 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 enjoy this. It's like a perfect start of the spring, warm weather, amazing festival, like I don't know, I just really enjoy it. It's second time with Christina. We arrived to Palm Springs last night. We had the most eventful journey with this like uh I wish we vlogged it. Like why did we not think of it? No, but I didn't want to record her. She was so fabulous. So this woman gave us a ride from LA to Palm Springs, like, like not a random woman, she was the driver hired to do that. She was giving us all of these lessons and tips what to do and, and what not to do. She was 70 years old. She's 70 years old. She said, like, Don't talk to any guys, don't give them your phone numbers. Um, she was hilarious. If they give you balloons, don't take them. Talking about balloons, look at this. We're here as guests of YSL Beauty, which is a brand I love and have worked with for definitely longer than four years. Christina just sprayed some black opium earlier and I was like, oh my god, it reminds me so much of a uh, like phase of my life where I used it every single day. I love that fragrance, it's amazing. Last night I couldn't wait. I immediately opened this package from the YSL and we received a set. But show them the top as well. What it I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's yeah. incredible. Look at this. It's like a magnetic box. So cool. It's so cool. You can use it as storage as well. Yeah. YSL, I love YSL Beauty with the lip products in there. Also received YSL Black Opium. And now I already said that. Wait, look at this now. <laughs> Guess it's heavy enough to hold it. And also received um, mascara volume effect, which is also going to be fabulous for the festival. And then a two Chicla Radiant Touch times two. Mine are in shade two and three, and also two and three of two Chicla High Cover, which is going to be my best friend during Coachella morning, because you know festival fun. This balloon, I don't know if our driver from LA would approve. But I love them so much. Look how fabulous. Honestly, cannot even. I also received something here. It says, Dear Tamara, happy day one of Coachella. Get the YSL look with our summer look palettes. Perfect for a sunkissed tropical vibe. Which is my favorite, sunkissed tropical. Also discover our very own festival fragrance, Black Opium Exotic Illusion underneath the palm trees. Don't forget your setting spray for the day too. Love YSL beauty. Okay, so this with the palm effect, the vine. Love it. Love it. Also, it fits in my handbag, which is amazing. What's in here? Oh my god! Rouge Pork Tour, but with two different, like, limited edition. Oh, and it's my favorite nude. This is shade 70. Love it. Obsessed. This is gonna be so fabulous. I'll wear the pink and orange, right? Also got some palettes. Oh wow, this one is like a bronzer. Oh, and this is like eye earthy tones, just how I like them. You guys know it. They're beautiful. Oh, the packaging is incredible. It's incredible. It's like leather. It is leather and it's laser cut. Wow. And then here is my itinerary. Wow, there is a lot I have to go through. So, okay guys. I'm gonna speak to you soon, but Christina's gonna become an influencer now and show you what she got. So, influencer to speaking with 700,000 or what? more. 740,000. <laughs> Less followers <laughs> than the influencer number one. But YSL also gave me some products. What are these things, Tam? <laughs> Because, by the way, guys, I know zero oh, I things this. about makeup, wow. but it looks incredible. It looks like an eye palette. Oh, I have this one. It's Shimmer Rush palette. This is amazing. It's like for the collectors. It's beautiful. It's also like leathery, kind of. You got some lip products. You got the mascara. And this is incredible. It's the setting spray. I love I actually, this. I actually had one of these. Um, really? Yeah. And Sophia and Maria use them now, my little sisters. Two hours later, I'm now almost ready for Coachella. Say so almost ready because... I have no makeup. My hair is incredible. It was done by Frank Provo team. Um, they always do my hair, as you guys remember from Fashion Week. I have pretty much no, well, no makeup on my eyes. I've just done my eyebrows a little bit and I'm wearing YSL All Hours Foundation, which I tend to wear a lot. I love it. But we're going to the YSL Beauty Station, which is basically somewhere in the desert, to explore it, check it out, see what they've done for us, and to do a little mini photo shoot. After that, we're gonna be going to the festival later on in the day, and that's basically it. 
Susie's here as well, we're the two girls from the UK when it comes to influencers, so we're excited to spend more time with her. And also received something from Selfridges, so let me show you. So here is the box of stuff that arrived from Selfridges. I mean, I've picked it, I know what it is, because I chose it all before the trip. And it says, Welcome to Palm Springs. We're so excited to be working with you on this project. Please find your pieces to wear and close. Love the Selfridges team. So cute. Thank you so much, um, Selfridges team. Guys, are you ready to see this? Look at this. Stunning. With a palm tree. How appropriate for Palm Springs. And then also got a dress. Zimmerman dress, which I picked. I cannot wait to try it on. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'll bring it to the station just hope it's gonna fit me let's see yeah because it's a little bit big it might be a little bit big but hopefully we'll make it work we arrived to the middle of nowhere or at least what it looks like oh look at Hi. you shady lady like you look so fabulous with those glasses love them on you um, we're here at the YSL beauty station we're wearing the same chain Susie Love it. Mine's called so flammable, yours called so chic. Because you're so chic. This is our um, yeah, hair and makeup right. beauty station. I mean, wow. Not doing what I'm told to do. Excited as the world turns on me. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a ripple. Yeah. Just not another damn copy. My makeup is done. We're now going to shoot a video outside. I love the eyes, love the lips, the face, like this is one of the rare times that I actually love my whole makeup look, so let's do this. Haters gonna say she didn't eat it all. Look how big that is. And then we have one to share, and Christina's got one with chicken, I've got one with shrimp, because I am not big on meat. That is so huge, right? Hope I'm in focus. Good morning, first of all. Still in Palm Springs. I haven't actually vlogged much yesterday because um, the day just went really fast. I am doing my makeup, it's a new day. I'm gonna try and do quite a bit because I want to shoot this morning. I had Frank Provo team come over and do my hair, which looks incredible, look at this, right? So I've got the boxer braids, and then they've kind of like sewed in this chain, which looks really spectacular, like festival perfect. I'm currently applying to Chicla. this is the high cover radiant concealer, mine is in shade 2, and I love it because it's quite warm, but it's quite good coverage for that Coachella. Tired. Look, I'm just kidding, like I went to bed at midnight last night. I'm not really like a party girl. So here's the thing about Coachella. I wouldn't say it's like a very music focused festival if you ask me. I think it's more of a socializing festival. People think it's more like just being seen thing. Not for me because I don't really go to those places like Neon Carnival or whatever where you go to be seen. It's too late for me also. <laughs> but I actually love just sitting at the rose garden by the fountain in the area so there's like kind of like two main sections I would say VIP and general admission most influencers go to the VIP kind of section uh, there's obviously like few others like for example my friend is actually playing at Coachella like Nora's husband, baby daddy, boyfriend however you want to say so for example they could be hanging out in an uh, artist's area but I don't think they will, <laughs> being knowing more, she so doesn't care about like these things and isn't like really in any way pretentious, so you know, it's quite nice, we will be all able to hang out. The yeah, IPR is a little bit more chill, people are not partying as hard or drinking or doing drugs as much as I have seen in general admissions, so I quite like the more calm area, and that's basically 
what we are uh, going to do, we just chill, we talk, we catch up, see my friends from all over the world, wear a lot of jewelry more than normally, and have ha crazy hairstyles and makeup and stuff like that. Today, Christina and I are just gonna shoot a lot around Palm Springs. After that, we are going to have like a station, like a makeup station with the YSL team, like yesterday one in the desert. So that's what we're gonna do. And after that, we're heading to the festival. I'll try and vlog today, so I'll bring the other camera because I can't actually bring this big camera. You're not allowed to do it. I don't know if you would like me to post like maybe a blog post or something like that about all the information regarding Coachella. Maybe I can do that for you guys. So if it helps, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup now. Get all ready. You guys know my favorite, one of my top favorite products is the YSL Couture Eye Primer. I don't know anybody who uses this, not even people who work for YSL. But this is the product that I swear by. It's one product I cannot live. Maybe because I have kind of like oily eyelids, so the makeup escapes. So I really need to prime them. And this is not drying, but it's incredible. I love this product so much. So yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup now and I'll come and say hi in a moment. Hey guys, I hope I'm in focus. I actually wanted to show you what I use on my face. The trusty Olaris foundation that I've been using for the past few videos. It's in BD50. I like it. It gives me a little bit of tan. People always say it looks very matte on them. For summer days, months, I mix it up with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So I apply a thin layer, apply the skin mist, and then blend it in, and it gives like a really nice dewy finish. Then I used on my eyebrows the Tom Ford uh, Brow Sculptor in Espresso. I love this and I use it all the time. It's amazing. Then I used the YSL Too Chicla High Cover Radiant Concealer. Mine is in shade 2. I blended it in with the La Mer foundation brush, so I like to kind of blend it in like this. Again, this is not sponsored. I know there's a lot of YSL products in here, but it's just because I actually use them. And because I've kind of rediscovered many now, having like attended the masterclass and like seeing how it all works. On my face, there's a lot of bronzer because we're in a desert and it's this one that I received yesterday in shade 2 as well. It's actually called Le Saharin Bronzing Stone Collector. Then on my cheeks I've got a bit of Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Pillow Talk um, blush. On my eyes, now look at this color. This is the most incredible thing I have discovered this trip. <laughs> it's so dirty because I constantly touch it. It's the Sequin Crush Glitter Shot Eyeshadow in shade 1 and it's like this gold glitter. I love it so much. I never normally was a fan of YSL mascara, it just didn't work with my lashes. Uh, but they've, I think, changed something. So it's this one, which is gold with a silver top, volume impact mascara. What I like about it is that it's not so wet anymore, so it's like very nice precision. I hate wet mascara, like when it's too wet and clumpy, because I have a lot of volume, and this mascara is just amazing. The reason why I decided to use it, even though I thought I'm not gonna like it, is because yesterday makeup artist used it on me and it was so amazing that I was like, yes, I need it. So for my lips, I think I'm just gonna apply some lip balm or something very quick, like what's in my bag. This is Hourglass in Girl Believer. So this is my look, ready. I've got a bit of a, what have I got a bit of? Marc Jacobs Earthquake Pencil on as well. I love this one because you don't need to sharpen it because it's just amazing. Et voila, ready to go and shoot because Christina's gonna like kill me if I don't hurry up. Now that I've shown you the makeup look, the hair, blah blah blah, it's time for you to see the morning outfit because this will change like five times a day because that's what you do at Palm Springs. I'm wearing a like set, like a kind of a linen set, like a cottony, really comfortable material from this new brand that I discovered called Rustic. I'll link it below if I can find it. It was gifted to me uh, when I went to the showroom in LA, in LA. and I'm um, wearing, of course, so shady sunglasses. These are the ombre ones, I like them. I've got my Dior slides and the saddlebag and a lot of jewelry, like a lot of jewelry. Also wearing my friend Camilla Carrillo's little cuffs. You can also see my jewelry a little bit better. Is that good? And this? I was just telling Christina we got some lemons because if life gives you lemons, make a chocolate cake, get the bitches wondering how you did it. I think we're now gonna make a move. A few hours 
later. Basically this afternoon we were just shooting for like my Instagram, cute little pics. I don't know if it's too loud, I wonder. But anyway, now we're in all black, which is something you don't get to see a lot. So I've got a new YSL bag for Selfridges. I got this Visa LA uh, black dress and the Margiela boots that I got from my Teresa. And now I'm just waiting for uh, my slot to shoot a few pieces of content for YSL Beauty. So I'm gonna do that and then later heading to the festival. So I'll change again for probably like 5th time today. Super excited for Jay Balvin tonight. And then let's see how long we actually manage to stay awake tonight. It is day two at the festival. I love coming at this time of the day because it's so beautiful with the sunset. Look how pretty this is. Guys, J Balvin in the making there. People who unexpectedly stop at festivals are annoying. And good morning to you guys. I sound a bit rough today. Ooh, and <laughs> it's not because of the parties, let me tell you that much. Well, it is our last day, last whole day in Palm Springs. It's morning, it's before 8 a.m. I like getting up early. In fact, whenever I'm in California, so California is eight hours behind England, nine hours behind um, Europe, because England's not in Europe, you know? Where am I? Always the problem. Last night at the festival was so much fun. I was spending most of the time with my friends. I play the sky, I play the sky. Christina yesterday that Coachella for me it's something like first of May in Serbia which is like sort of a sort of a holiday which means that on first of May not nothing works no one works you just go to like usually one big field or a park or a mountain or somewhere outside of the city and then over there we would um, we would have barbecue talk with friends chill enjoy life and just like have your best time you know so we were dancing to J Balvin having the best time fun it was just amazing you guys know how much I love this kind of music and then we went to sit on the grass talk I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat for breakfast that was yesterday it was really nice I really enjoyed it and now it's time to enjoy some food today we are gonna be chilling a little bit at the hotel which means that Christina and I will be shooting. There's no rest for the wicked, right? I'm wearing my So Shady. These are so over it because I am so over it in the mornings, right? Uh, these are the So Over It in pink with gold hardware. I will link them below. Also, can you see how swollen my lip is here? I bit my lip last night. Okay, guys, no more boxer braids this morning. That was it. We're now doing Ariana Grande kind of hair look. You have to see like how huge is my hair when we um, undid the boxer braids though. Let's go! Yes, Alex! <laughs> okay, Alex is the best. So we get a high, big, thick ponytail. Now, I bet you didn't expect that this is how we do it. But this is how you get the ponytail, the Ariana Grande one. It's fabulous life, right? <laughs> we need to talk more because I feel like I haven't spoken to you at all this trip. I'm running late. Well, I'm not running late. There's six minutes until I have to be next door. It's not technically me running late. It's more that I like to be kind of super early, especially like with work-related things. I think I'm gonna wear shorts because we're filming something for which I'm going to be lying down. Camera was giving me like major weird situation. Long story short, I need to change because we're gonna be shooting something but we're gonna be shooting in line dance so they said don't wear something short like a short dress because you'll be uncomfortable so I think I'm gonna wear shorts like but not these because these are not exactly like your work shorts you know so I'm gonna grab a well, very similar pair uh, but a bit smarter I think wanna take some pictures how pretty by the way is this hammock here also need to pack up stuff, not the skincare but for tonight so many of you, by the way, said how happy you are that I found my dream bag. Inside of it, 
you can always see what I've got, so you cannot really carry any kind of, you know, well, it's not that you cannot, but any ugly stuff. I've got um, my other phone, which is great for when I run out of data. I've got my new card holder. This is a Prada one, and I'll link it below, actually, because I really, really, really like it. Got some more lipsticks. This is the $20 bill. Some chains from So Shady. These are samples, so they're not nicely packed. I'm gonna pack up my stuff, and we need to leave now. We're approaching the entrance. Today is a Sunday. I didn't show you my outfit yet, but I will in a moment. We are just heading to the entrance of the festival, and tonight is Ariana Grande and Susie's hair, which is like... Rihanna vibes. So we just arrived to the festival, so we're gonna catch sunset and take a yeah. nice picture. I want to show you my look. I'm wearing a Jacquemus dress, Dior belt, boots that I always wear at Coachella. I've got my Louis Vuitton con bag and my So Shady chains. One very important thing to me, I always wear nipple covers whenever I'm wearing something light or something that's very like cleavage because that way you're always safe and you can actually enjoy the party. This is this general section at the moment. You can see what it looks like. There's the wheel in the background there. Yeah. This is so pretty, the sunset here. Good morning, you guys. New day and the last morning in Palm Springs. We're leaving to Europe today, but first we have around, what is it? Probably an average of four hours drive to LA just because it's the last day of Coachella so whole of the desert will be heading back. I've still got hair from last night, well not the, not the ponytail, just the braid because um, I was in the room all together for four hours. We got home at two, well five hours. We got home last night at two, woke up at um, six to pack, pack, now it's seven. So we are actually, thank you so much. Very nice. What is the flavor this Mixed morning? Mixed fruit, plain yogurt and honey. Oh, lovely. Thank you so I much. I bought what you oat meal latte. Amazing. And Americana. I hate when my hair is full of product and it's like this kind of like white gooey, uh, like <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible thing, which like I can see it in the mirror. Like it's not just product, but it's... Anyway, I didn't have time to wash it because this will take like now more than an hour to wash and then an hour to dry just to look not even presentable, just to be clean. So I'm going to book hairdressing appointment first thing in the morning, um, the day after I land in London. It's going to be full day of traveling, but I'm not wearing any makeup. Got my So Catty, So Shady sunglasses with a pearl chain. I actually don't know which sunglasses are my favorite. Which sunglasses are your favorite? Can you let me know in the comments below because I'm super curious to know. I'm excited to go home to see my sister. I haven't seen her in a while. And my nephews. So that's that's the drill. Now I'm gonna edit some pictures, do some work before we hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Guys, arrived to my seat. Looks a bit messy. This is better. Just about to get comfortable. Okay, guys, as you can probably notice, um, it's a new day and we're not in Palm Springs anymore. Uh, we are now back home. It's been actually two days that I needed to get back into the jet, like non-jet lag state of me, which is quite unusual for me because I actually never ever suffer from jet lag. But I didn't sleep on the plane much, so I lost the night between Monday and Tuesday. Then Tuesday night I went to bed, I was waiting for my sister to come home and then when I saw her I went to bed at 1am and woke up at 3 and I went through the whole next day so I only slept like 2 hours on the second night and then the third night I slept for 14 hours. I'm now back and I'm fine and I got up this morning before 8 and it's all good, I'm back on my schedule so tomorrow I should be fine getting up at 6 which is what I like the most. That's not what I'm here for. Um, I'm wearing a lot of makeup today, it's because... Um, I actually am channeling this kind of like a new like Middle Eastern look right now which I really really like where I'm applying like a really bold colored shadow on my eyelids like a bold eyebrow and everything else is pretty nude 
what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Just for today, that's how I felt today when I woke up. Like, I have a lot of Middle Eastern friends and they always do their makeup, like, in the most incredible ways. And I love it. If you're interested in the eyeshadow that I'm wearing, it is from a palette that I will link below. I got it on Cult Beauty. So I will link the palette below so you guys can check it out. On my eyebrows, I think I've got the Hourglass eyebrow pencil. Everything else is kind of standard as usual, as you can check it in my chatty Get Ready With Me video eyeshadow eyebrows I've told you about and this top that I'm wearing is also something that I wore at Coachella as well you can kind of wear it like this but I prefer wearing it like this just because it feels a little bit more secure the top is from Attico and I will also link it below for your convenience anything for you guys Coachella so this was my fourth Coachella in a row so I've been doing it for four years now I have to say I have noticed a little bit of a decline this year but I think that could be also due to quite a weak like headliners. Last year was incredible. Beyonce, Eminem and The Weeknd. Like I couldn't have chosen any better. This year was Ariana Grande was amazing. Billie Eilish was really cool. Uh, J Balvin was my favorite. I mean, today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to discuss my previous Coachella outfits of the previous years with you guys because I feel like my style has changed so much since I've like started blogging because I have changed as a person and my lifestyle has changed hence my style has changed It's not like it was different kind of brands that I was wearing It's just a different type of stuff and style that I would go for a little bit not I don't think it has changed that much But let's discuss last four years of my Coachella outfits before I bore you to death with my talking because that could also be a case so this outfit that you can see on the screen now I actually wore Topshop denim shorts, white, kind of like a crop top from Pinko, Aquazura boots, and the Chloe handbag. Now, it's pretty similar actually to one of the looks that I wore this year, which I will also insert now. The one that includes a denim shorts, which are the girlfriend denim shorts, then an um, Orson the Iris top and a denim jacket. I had a Dior bag and I also had um, ankle booties. So pretty similar style I would say except that I'm now much much more into high-waisted shorts. I've never really liked the low-waisted short shorts or like high-waisted very short shorts. I think they're not flattering at all but um, this is something I'm really into. I love the crop top stuff with high-waisted jeans or shorts. That's like my favorite thing. Um, I know it's a little bit of like a basic girl kind of Coachella outfit. It's very basic. But to be honest, this was my Friday, like day one, which was the most like meek day. Like, nah. But I was very comfortable in it. So this outfit's not that bad considering it's an outfit from my first ever Coachella, which was four years ago. I think, I think to be honest, like, you know, I did relatively okay. Outfit number two from the same year. This was a black pinko dress, which kind of looks like something that Ellery probably was making as well that year. It was a big trend. But I think this is such a non-Coachella look. This is too dressy. I don't know what was I thinking. You can see that it was my first Coachella ever and that I just thought like, oh, let me put on a cute dress. I completely didn't understand that Coachella was about over-accessorizing. Um, the dress is nice. It's a cute dress, but it's more like going out a dress that I should have belted and worn like billion necklaces. So this outfit is not the best ever. Outfit number three from 2016. So this look here is quite a cute, like an LA look. Again, these kind of boots that I still keep wearing at Coachella. I love them. I mean, so they're, they're going strong for four years now. They're the boots that I've been wearing for four years now to Coachella. Um, the white dress from Revolve, I think this was Lovers and Friends. Um, a Chloe bag and um, very basic. I think not like coachella enough. Thank you, Mr. Postman. You're welcome. It's from Royal Mail. It's from Royal Mail. Wow, you read that well. Uh, what does it say here? Special delivery. Special delivery. Well, it is special because it's for what? For who? For you. Exactly. You got that one right. Because I'm special, right? What did you see? What did you see? Haribos. Uh, Haribos? Uh, did you want some Haribos? Okay, okay. You can have two, okay? I have a cake. Two eggs. Oh, now you dropped one. Give me that one. I'll bin it. Another. Okay, then another one. I... Another egg. Good? 
Okay, bye. Oh, can you close the door, please, silly banana? To conclude 2016, I believe my outfits were pretty boring. You can see that it was my first year that I didn't really get what Coachella was about. My hair looks were kind of cool, but that's about it. 2017. Now, this was a fun one, I have to say, because 2017 was the year that I went to Coachella with my ex-boyfriend. That was interesting. We together for around eight months when we went to Coachella together. It was actually quite, quite an interesting experience. It was one and only time that I went to, like, um, Coachella. I never spoke about it, but it was quite intense as well, because he got to, like, see the industry, and he didn't like it. So, yeah. My outfits were very simple, I would say. Denim short, Gucci belt, and a off-shoulder top. This was a year that I did like um, Coachella with Revolve, so it had like a lot of Revolve outfits, those good old suede boots that I wore this year again, you see. But actually, this dress, the white dress, I honestly love so much. I still wear, I think it's somewhere here in my wardrobe. I love it, I wear it all the time, every summer. It's just like a perfect, um, perfect, perfect dress. It's from Majorelle, which is actually designed by this lady on the left. She designs Majorelle and she's incredible Rachel. So I love this dress so much and I think it's a really, really cool dress, especially because of the bell sleeves. I feel like it also comes in a top version. I'll link it below because I think it might be still available. I like that I was accessorizing a little bit more. So there is, you know, that thingy bob in my hair. So that's cool. So this look is probably the strongest one so far because I'm over accessorizing. You see, I'm getting to figure out the Coachella. I've got my little bit backpack on, a dress with an open back, like billion necklaces. I, I got it. I got it. You see, this is the point where I was like, okay, I understand how it works. I remember this day very well because I, I like literally tortured the poor guy to come at like midday to take a picture of me at the wheel at Coachella and it was so hot. But he didn't mind. Like, I cannot say I always ever ever had really supportive boyfriends by my side. That's one thing that I have to give them. Okay, 2018. 2018 was a year where I had so many jobs at Coachella. Like, not jobs, but like, kind of like clients at the Coachella that was so stressful for me but also fun so we have this blue dress that I wore I think it's from Tula Rosa label I quite love it I love that I wore uh, Chloe boots a little bit more with the um, Dior orange bag and the strap so fabulous this year I also figured out the hair is very important like I kind of up my game a little bit I would say okay, this wheel look picture with my friend Nora I love this look because I wore my Louis Vuitton fireball boots with the denim shorts that I love wearing from girlfriend denim and the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs jacket. I kind of think I thought, mm, Palm Springs is the name of this jacket. It should be perfect for Coachella. And my Palm Springs backpack from Louis Vuitton as well. You can see like Nora gets Coachella, like she got dressed for the occasion. This was my favorite look from Coachella last year. It was a Zimmerman dress, which has beautiful open back. And I decided to wear it again with the Dior bag and the colorful strap. This is like my favorite strap. I'm so happy I got it. I remember it was so expensive, but I love it. That was my favorite look, I think, last year. Well, I mean, the one with the Louis Vuitton jacket is also pretty cool, but Nora's outfit wins. Like, she killed it. Love it. But other than that, I kind of like a Chloe top I wore last year. There's one look that I hate from last year. No matter what I wore with it, it just made me... It was very unflattering. I don't want to say made me look fat because that's so... But it, it was very unflattering. Let's come on to this year. I now wish I didn't wear denim shorts and crop tops. I think it's boring now. And the amount of girls that I saw that wore that outfit, I don't like wearing what other people wear. And I think that's very basic. That's also a reason why I don't go naked to Coachella because everyone's very naked there. And everyone wears those like crazy, like flowy, like tribally things. Also don't like that. But if I go to Coachella next year, I will definitely figure something different. One outfit, however, that I really loved, like my favorite this year, was probably the Jacquemus dress that you could see in this video. I just love it because I think it's not something that people wear to Coachella. It's obviously like a, it's like a runway dress from their ready to wear collection. And it's something different, but it's still quite cool and quite fun for Coachella. Like I was warm enough yet cool enough, you know? Um, especially since I styled it with a con bag and those boots that I wear clearly every single year. And then another look that I actually really liked from 
me this year was the Zimmerman white dress with a Citro Chanel new bag that I love so much. Actually, okay, now this is gonna sound like I'm tooting my own horn so much and it's gonna be so awkward, but I think that's so shady, like my sunglasses really, really upped my game because the chains and they were like colorful and like the way that I wore them this year, I wore like obviously a lot more sunglasses than before. And I think that completely, completely changed the game like really up the game. I love styling chains with sunglasses and I had a lot more like necklaces and jewelry in general. My hair was different every day. So I think like I'm learning to up my game. Like if you compare it to the first year where I wasn't sure where I was going, I mean, yeah. Anyway, I would actually like to comment some of my worst looks ever from the blog as well. I think that could be fun. Like to comment the worst of the worst, ones I hate the most for a YouTube video. Would you guys like to see that? Let me know. Um, but thank you for watching this video and I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys.